Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello everyone, good morning I would like to say thank you for watching my video Let me introduce myself, my name is Krisya Yotami I am the first speaker Hello, I am Lutvia Fadila and I am second speaker I am Habibah Sapitri, I am the last speaker We are from group 3 In this video, we will explain about manner of articulation Speaking definitely requires a clear pronunciation or what is called articulation. Articulation is the chunks of cavities and spaces in the sound that to produce good, true, and clear word for what sounds. The articulation area extends from the outer lip to the vocal cords, where pronouns are formed based on the vibration of the vocal cord accompanied by a change in the position of the tongue of the kind that correspond to standard patterns so that it can be understood by others. It's been 12 days. Manner of articulation. In articulatory phonics, the manner of articulation is the configuration and interaction of the articulator. When making a speech sounds on parameter of manner is stricter, that is how closely the speech organ approach on another, other include thus involvement in the alike sounds and the sibilance of fricative. The concept of manner is mainly used in the discussion of consonant. Although the movement of the articulator will also greatly alter the resonant properties of the vocal tract. Thereby changing the formal structure of speech sound that is crucial for the identification of follows. For consonant, the place of articulation and the degree of pronunciation of the voicing are considered partly from manner as being independent parameter. Homorganic consonants, which have the same place of articulation, may have different manner of articulation. Of the nasality and laterality are included in manner, but some phoneticians, such as Peter Lady Fogot, consider them to be independent. It's been 12 days. Articulation is very important to be able to produce sounds, words, and sentences that are clear and can be easily understood by others. Having clear articulation can help a person express basic needs and desires and be able to engage in complex conversation. In this case, articulation disorder or inability to produce a clear voice often causes other who hear the sentence cannot understand what is being said, and this becomes one of the inhibiting factors in communicating using good, correct, and clear English. Today, I will explain about plosives, stop, fricative, and nasal. Number one is plosives. In many ways, it is possible to regret plosives as the most basic type of consonant. They are product by forming a complete abstraction to the flow of air out of the mouth and nose. And normally, this result is built up of compressed air inside the camber format by the closure. When the closure is released, there is a small explosion that causes a sharp noise. Plosives are among the first sounds that are used by children when they start to speak or talk. Nasal, nasal are likely to be the very first consonant. The basic plosives consonant type can be exploited in many different ways. Plosives may have any place of art of articulation, may be voiced or voiceless, and may have an aggressive or ingressive air flow. The air flow may be from the lungs or pulmonic, from the larynx or glottalic, or generate in the mood valeric, and least six positive consonant. Pa as in pan, ba as in ban, 
T as in town, D as in dog, K as in king, and G as in garden. Number two is stop. This term is often used as if synonyms with possess. However, some writers on phonetics use stop to refer to the class of sounds in which there is complete closure. Specifically, in the oral cavity, in this case, sounds such as um and an are also stops more presley they are nasal stop number three is vigative this type of consonant is made by forcing air to a narrow gap gap so that hissing noise is generated this may be accompanied by voicing in which case the sound is a forced vigative says such as Z. The, co the quality in intensity of fricative sounds varies greatly, but all are acoustically composed of energy at relatively high frequency. An indication of this is that much of the fricative sounds is too high to be transmitted of a, over a phone, or which usually cuts out the heights and lows frequencies in order to reduce the cost. <laughs> cost. Okay, giving rise to the confession that often arise. Over sets of words like English, Finn, Dean, Sin, and Shin. In order for the sound quality to be product a quality and size and direction of the jet of air has to be very precisely controlled. While this is normally something we do without thinking about it, it is not noticeable that fricatives are what cause most difficulty to speaker who are getting used to wearing false teeth. And fricatives have at least ten consonant. Number number one is fa as in fish, va as in van, fa as in talk, za as in this, sa as in so, za as in zoo, sha as in sign, ja as in vision, and uh, ha as in loch and ha as in home and number four is nasal a nasal consonant is one in which the air escapes only through the nose for this to happen to articulatory action are ne ne necessary firstly to soft palate or volume must be lowered to allow air to escape past it. Secondly, a closure must be made in the oral cavity to prevent air from escaping toward it. The closure may be at any place of articulation from bilabial at the front of the oral cavity to uvular at the back. And English nasal consonant have to. Uh, this is ma as in mouth and na as in nose. The first time I will explain about trail in manner of articulation. Trail is vibrating consonant or consonants produced by vibration between the articulator uh, and, the, and the place of articulation. The vibrating consonant include uh, in the international phonetic alphabet are alveolar, bilabial, uh, uvular. Trill in phonetics, uh, a prohibition or series of flaps, C flaps or the tongue, lips or uvula against uh, some other part of the mouth. The Spanish are in fair dog. It's a tongue trail and the French R is sometimes uh, pronounced as an uvular trail.
it is commonly called the roller or rolling or or trailer or quit after r is used uh, in phonetic uh, transcription especially those found uh, in dictionaries of languages like english and german that have rhotic consonants that are not in alveolar trail in phonetics uh, a consonant is a speech sound produced uh, without uh, a complete closure in the oral cavity namely fricatives uh, approximant and vowels phonology continuant as a distinctive feature also in clad trails whether literal fricatives fricatives and uh, approximant and taps or flaps are continuant is not conclusive tapping your tongue really 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 fast no one can do that is uh, instead a trail is made by pressing our base your tongue is such a way that the tongue vibrates the roll r is the most common trail it's it's uh, the one used in spanish italian russian arabic and many other languages okay the next is tap and flap its manner of articulation is tap or flap which means it is produced with a single contraction of the muscle so that the tongue makes very brief contact its place of articulation in is dental or alveolar which means it is articulated behind other from teeth or the alveolar ridge in phonetics a flap or tap is a type of cons- consonantal sounds which is or produced with a single contraction of the muscle so that one articulator such as the tongue is thrown against another the voice or uh, alveolar tough or flap is an, a type of consonantal sounds used in some spoken languages the symbol uh, is the international phonetic alphabet that rep- represent uh, dental alveolar or post post uh, post alveolar tap or flap is R. Features uh, of the voice alveolar tap or flap. The first time its manner of articulation is tap or flap, which means it is produced with a single contraction of the muscle so that the tongue makes a very brief contact. The second is its place uh, of articulation is dental or alveolar which means it is articulated behind our fr- front teeth uh, or at the alveolar ridge it is most often official which means that is uh, that it is uh, pronounced with the tip or the tongue the, the fourth is phonational is voice which means uh, which means the local chords vibrate during the articulation the five uh, it is an oral consonant which means R is allowed to expect except uh, through the mouth only and six it is a central consonant which means it is uh, produced by directing the uh, eye stream along the center of the tongue rather than uh, to the sides and the last the eye stream mechanism mechanism is pulmonic which means it is uh, articulated by pushing air slowly uh, with the lungs and diaphragm diaphragm as the muscle and the next lateral consonant lateral is a consonant is which the air stream pressed uh, along the side of the tongue but it is blocked by the tongue from going through the middle of the mouth an example of the lateral consonant is english l as in larry lateral consonant uh, contrasts with con- uh, central consonant in which the airstream flow through the center of the mouth when pronounce pronouncing the labiodental fricatives f and v the leaf block are the, the airflow in the center of the vocal tract so the airstream process uh, along the sides eh, instead nevertheless uh, they are not considered lateral consonant because the airflow never goes uh, over the side of the tongue 
no no language the known language makes a distinction between between literal and non literal abundantals. Plosives uh, are never literal, but they may have literal release. Nasals are never literal either, but some languages have literal nasal clicks. For consonants articulated in the third laryngeals. The literal distinction is not made by any language, uh, although uh, pharyngeal and aguilateral literal are reportedly possible. One literal in English has one literal phoneme, the literal uh, approximate all, which in many access with uh, has, has to eleven us, eleven one phone before phone vowels as a lady or fly is called clear all pronounce it as the uh, alveolar literally uh, accompaniment all with a natural portion of the body of the tongue okay the next approximate an approximation is a phonetic sound a release between the tongue and lips without all contact with each other involving the articulator approaching each other but, but not thin enough or with suffic sufficient precision to create turbulent flow approximate consonant sound are made by bringing two articulator close together without them touching a sound lips uh, the body. The result is a smooth vowel like sound. All the of the approximate sounds are voiced. The vocal cords uh, vibrate as the sound uh, is phrased. Uh, the English uh, literal and the British less continuum are typ typically grouped together and re referred to as approximates. This is the convention that we will use in this series of articles English speech uh, sounds 101 there are only four approximate in English and they are all voice the four English approximate sound are are who yeah are created by constricting the vocal tracks slightly but not so much that the air become turbulent as it passes through. The first L sound is R. R. The trip of the tongue is pressed against of the middle of the tongue reach, uh, and air is allowed to pass uh, freely along the side of the tongue. Second is R. 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 Sound R the back of the tongue is. A bunch high so the side of the tongue will touch the back side of teeth. Okay, the next uh ooh, ooh. sound is ooh. Lips are made into the small circle. Ooh. The back of the tongue is left. And the part is yeah. Sound is yeah. Yeah. The tongue blade of the preset are very close to the back of the teeth ridge. Yeah. Listen the following sounds closely related to R, 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 are the four R controlled vowels. The first, Ch, Ch, second, R, the third, OR, the port is air, the Ch is certainly a syllabic R and R that creates a syllable. The other three are controlled vowels are a combination of a vowel a sound and R note. There are other options besides the primary ones described above for creating R and R. R refer to specific lesson for the sound sounds the view uh, the view the option. Okay, the last material is approximate from semi vowel. W, U, and Y. The U and Y are called semi vowel because 
although the vocal tract is relatively uh, unrestricted during the formation of both uh, of the sounds, they are not syllabic, syllabic meaning they do not force a syllabic to occur. Another vowel-like quality of the two sounds is that two sound vowels also called uh, the voting include a sound that is nearly identical to a U or I in their pronunciation of American English too. Sound vowels include the following A, Y, U, W, W, E, Long, E, Long, E, Long, O, Long, U, Oi sounds and O sounds. Syllabic consonant R and Sui, Chue, Chue. A syllabic consonant is a consonant sound that becomes the best sound of a syllable, which sheh is always syllabic and can occur on either a stressed or unstressed syllable. It is only possible to have a syllabic or on an unstressed syllable. Voice and unvoiced sounds, although a proximal are voice. When they occur after unvoiced stuff, and p, as in the words crash, play, and tween, and uh, approximate begins uh, as an unvoiced sound, uh, and the vocal uh, cord begin to vibrate uh, during the production of the sounds. Non-native speaker who have typically with the types or consonant clusters of uh, often a sudden tally and an additional phase sounds between the stop and approximate learning to delay firstly facing avoids the possibility of an accidental vowel sounds and the uh, uh, accompany unwanted label okay maybe just this from me all we can say thank you for your attention i hope this video has given us new insight of 